Hi, I'm Maria Krutikova. And I'm Jonathan LaPlane. We decided to model a truss in Inventor from one of our practice exams. This is the spring 2013 uh, practice final exam, and we're modeling this after problem number 1D. So in Inventor here, we have the entire truss. It's modeled with pin joints, and it is made out of carbon fiber just as a random material choice. It doesn't really change the results all that much. So if we come and we go into our simulation that we have, and we apply the two loads from the problem of 1,400 pounds and 2,200 pounds, we can have an idea of what would actually happen. So uh, the problem asks you to identify the zero force members. And you can actually tell what the zero force members are, because when we run the simulation, they're the ones that are actually not moving, since they're just there for support and aren't structural at all. Um, you can also see why this member over here, which you might think would be a zero force member because it meets at a joint of two pieces that are collinear, uh, you can see that there's quite a load at the top of it, which is caused, of course, by this force, and that very similarly mimics the results we got in the problem, and as we got a load that was exactly matching this in this member. Uh, so what we learned in class holds true. Um, places where there is a load um, on the member, it can't be a zero force member. So we basically confirmed that in this simulation. And we were also able to confirm how we kind of felt about which members were in tension and compression. Because you can see that these members up on top end up being in compression, and these lower members will end up being in tension all the time. 